Hey guys, uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, this is going to be a, another RS3 video and it's going to be on a bit more of a serious topic in terms of kind of gameplay than the previous two. And this is basically going to be like a starter guide to uh, the God Wars Dungeon or DWD, a GWD as some people know it as. First of all, I'll, I'll explain a little bit about the God War Dungeon. It's basically an area um, where you've got four different gods: um, the uh, Zamorak, uh, Saradomin, uh, Armadil, and Bandos, and they're fighting out. Um, it's like a dungeon where they're just fighting it out. Now, in this. Uh, dungeon there are some there are a wide range of level of monsters uh, the main reason people go there is for slayer because some of the uh, spiritual minions or the armadil minions um, get assigned by high level slayer masters um, in addition that you can get a lot of good loot if you know what to kill uh, in there and the bosses themselves give a heck of a lot of like good loot if you're lucky um, and there's uh, there's also a fifth god but that's like a special one it's like a, a boss boss god area and um, that drops level 90 gear uh, the basically the level 90 melee range and, and magic gear to get to Gobble's Dungeon, you're going to have to go from Berthorp up through the um, the Troll Ruins. Uh, you're going to need to get through um, uh, the Troll Quest to do that. Um, and then you'll get to this rock. Uh, I'll be showing on screen whilst I say this. Um, you either push that with 60 strength or get past it with 60 agility. Once you've got past that, you will have to run north um, through some some snow and make sure your run is on for this um, you will be attacked by wolves completely ignore them your first time there you're gonna have to talk to a guy quickly um, you just have to talk to him once um, and then you go down the hole and then you're in the god wars dungeon now in that run between the boulder and the actual entrance itself you will start losing stats um, like you'll lose levels uh, temporarily so you want to be as quick as possible it only drops you by like one level each um, so it, it, it regenerates if you're quick it regenerates quite quickly so bear that in mind Some of the loot that you can get in Godwood's Dungeon are the uh, War Priest armor from the World Events, uh, the abilities from World Events to World Event 2, um, Serenic Scales, you can loot off uh, Spiritual Mages, but the, the big items you're after are God Swords, so the God Sword Shards and, uh, and Hilts. There's one for each of the four main uh, main wings. The fifth wing um, drops slightly different stuff. Um, they, like the the main like the extra wing drops level 90 stuff. You need a key to get into there as well, which you can loot from uh, all four of the wings. Uh, but you, it's like a fragment key. You have to put four bits together. Um, so yeah, there are the God Swords, uh, which sell for around two and a half uh, mil on average around about now. Um, although the Sour Diamond God Sword is like, hugely overpriced for what it is, but it's because no one does Sour Diamond because seven agility. Um, so yeah, uh, you in the Zamorak one. Zamorak, so it's, however you uh, you pronounce that, um, you can get subjugation armor, which is level seventy, non-degradable uh, mage gear, 
Um, it, you, there is no weapon um, associated with that. There's no major weapon that you can get from that. So it's uh, it's literally like subjugation, um, god sword. Uh, the Zamrock boss also drops the Zamrock spear, which is a uh, a decent level 75 melee spear, um, and is extremely good at. Uh, at well, it's it's a stabbing weapon. That's what I'm trying to get. At. None of these items are degradable, uh, so they don't degrade at all. Uh, in the armadillo ring, you can get um, armadillo armor, which is level 70 ranged armor. Um, bear in mind, all these god armors sell for a crap ton compared to like level 60 counterparts. So in the armadillo ring, you can get armadillo armor. Um, armadillo crossbows, like there's two of them, uh, dual armadillo crossbows. Um, you can get the abilities as well from uh, World Vent 2 if you haven't got them already. Um, and obviously a god sword as well. Uh, Bandos, you can get the Bandos melee armor which is level 70 melee armor. Um, god sword, yada yada yada. Um, and in the Saradome in uh, area, now there is no Saradome in armor, but you, I believe you can get all of the weapons, like in God Wars, from Saradome. In, um, in addition to Saradome sword and Saradome God sword, so those are sort of the big drops. And then you've got War Priest. Um, now with War Priest. They are uh, level 70 maximum hybrid armor, uh, which, just quickly, if you don't know, uh, when you've got armor, you've e like it's either mage range or or melee armor. So using a combat triangle, let's say you've got melee armor. Uh, that melee armor is going to be fully effective against ranged. It's going to be half effective against uh, melee. And not effective at all against mage. Um, hybrid armor is effective against all three types, um, so it's it's pretty strong armor. Um, the war piece stuff is on quite a harsh uh, drop rate, but it can drop off trash, whereas all the god sword and uh, and god armors can only drop off uh, the bosses and the minions with the bosses. So, um, also with uh, War Priest, is if you got it during the world event and you lost it, it's going to be a much, much lower drop rate um, from minions. But that's only if you had it in the world event. Uh, if you get it as a drop and lose it, it's still going to be a really kind of harsh drop to get. But it's not too bad. I mean, I've collected a War Priest set in about three days of camping one area so uh, I mean that's the full set uh, you'll only get once like one item like at a time like let's say um, let's say you've got like an armadillo uh, chest plate uh, war, pri war priest chest uh, you can't then get another armadillo or priest chest, but you can get another Saradome in chest or another armadillo legs, uh, just not the same item that you've got already. Now, the minimum requirements to get into the Global War Standard is actually extremely low like, really, really low. Um, at minimum, you need 15 agility and 30 thieving um, because there's a quest you, you have to complete before you can get access to it. Um, in addition to that you need to have at least 60 strength or 60 agility um, get past a boulder in front. Do not take this as this level is open for low level players. The minimum requirements, I'm going to put this on screen, the minimum requirements are very very low. If you if you go in with the minimum requirements, you will last probably five seconds, if that. 
In fact, you may even get cut down before you even get there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it's a very dangerous place. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some recommended requirements on the screen and these are going to be kind of general recommended requirements uh, for clearing some of the minions some of the some of the uh, better minions I'm also gonna like for the slayer levels these are referring to different uh, types of minions um, I will also now put the um, what I would recommend as the uh, the boss requirements um, because the boss requirements are the th now you can kill the bosses um, at, an, at like a reasonable level you can like solo bosses at like combat 110 etc um, but you will probably be able to kill it once maybe twice like the recommended requirements I'm going to put for bosses is recommended for staying there like to be able to solo the boss and stay there otherwise if you're a little bit lower you can take like a friend with you and it's it's quite successful there um, now there are four wings in the Goldborn Goldborn's dungeon and you're going you're going to want to make use of these um, so the wings are as follows the Zamorak wing um, you require 70 health uh, 70 H constitution uh, to get into um, once entering there it will drain all of your prayer so be aware of that then you've got the Saradomin uh, area which requires 70 agility to get into so um, yeah then you've got the uh, the armadillo section which requires 70 ranged and in addition the armadillo minions cannot be killed by melee uh, so you need either ranged or melee for them and then you've got the bandos quarter which requires 70 strength to uh, get into now uh, there is a bit of a gimmick that you need to know before you go into the gold wars dungeon um, okay I should also like I should also quickly mention you want to do the quest Edgar's ruse as well which also requires 31 herbal on top of everything else I forgot to mention this earlier um, this basically uh, gives you a teleport much much closer which you'll see me use in the video but yeah in god wars so you've got the four factions of uh, of god enemies now it's <laughs> if all four are hostile you are not going to survive so i'm going to go through an itinerary here some of you may or may not know that to to have a god's unit not being hostile to you you have to have equipped an item of that god uh, titles do not work uh, before you ask um, so I will I will go through kind of what I think is the best item like the best items to be resistance against gods um, in the God Wars dungeon um, should I should actually mention if you've got any of the the next armor or weapons um, the shard of Zaros which is from a, a quest or ascension crossbows then you cannot be attacked by any of the uh, god minions uh, okay so now there are four wings which I mentioned earlier 
Um, I do not recommend fighting anything as, like outside of those wings. Like set, set yourself up for a wing. Say, I'm going to do this wing. Like Set that up before you decide to go. Um, and then you'll know what to kind of stack gear-wise. So, now in the Zamorok Quarter, you only have Zamorok minions. So, therefore you only need Zamorok items. Um, so, for Mage, I you know, for Mage I would suggest a, a Zamorok, um, a Subjugation item. I mean, technically you want to have full Subjugation going into that, but if you can afford just one Subjugation uh, item, like even before you go in there, uh, you're safe in the Zamorok. Zamorak area. Um, if you um, if you want to go and kill the boss, um, you are going to need anti poison. I'm gonna put that out there now. You're going to need super stores um, to regenerate your prayer, which you actually completely lose your prayer before you go into uh, like as you go into Zamorak area. Uh, you will definitely need anti-poison for the boss if you decide to fight the boss. Um, now, if you want to, um, if you want to melee in the Zamorak area, I would recommend like take your Zamorak um, items and well, take take your melee items and either take a. Uh, a Zamorak uh, spear. If you don't want to take a spear, like if you want to take some uh, some of the big items, you can always use a Zami God Sword. If if you still don't like that, um, then buy one Zamorak uh, arrow from the Grand Exchange and have that equipped um, whilst you're there, because yes, the um, the God arrows do count. Um, and yeah, before someone asks, yes, uh, uh, the god armor, the god rune armor does work. I don't ever recommend taking rune. Um, I would recommend not going to god wars until you're at least level 70. Um, so, now, what, what if you're going as range into um, the Zamorak area? Um, now that's a tricky one. Um, you could use a piece of Zamorak. Uh, you could use a piece of subjugation, I guess. Um, but that is really not ideal. Honestly, the best item you can use as as range to uh, give you protection against Zamorak is going to be any war priest item of Zamorak. Like preferably boots or gloves or something. Um, so yeah, I would recommend doing that. Um, now you might think, well, okay, I've got to go into the Zamorak area. I need protection from Zamorak minions. Do then get an item which is going to be my protection against Zamorak. Yeah, I, I would, <laughs> I would strongly advise you. Um, like go uh, get an item of a uh, of or priest uh you can't buy you have you will have to get as a drop i would recommend use melee or or mage um now let's say you want to go to serodomin so your your mage setup is going to be um you're going to want to have subjugation because the Saradomin area has both Saradomin and Zamorak uh, people. So you're going to want subjugation if you're if you're a uh, mage. Um, if you can't afford subjugation, then uh, I recommend use a war priest item or Zamorak. Um, as for your protection against Serodomin, you're going to want to have a uh, Serodomin arrow equipped. Much in the same way as a Zamorak arrow, as melee. Um, 
so earlier. Uh, if you go in there as melee, um, I recommend you take a um, take the Zami spear um, with the Saradomin arrow. Um, again, War Priest can be used. Um, I'm actually gonna have a, um, a quick look. Apparently, you can get like things like unholy books for for ranged which provide protection um, it's according to the wiki um, so yeah oh also for uh, for your mage protection against Zamorak you've also got like the uh, the god staffs and the uh, god cloaks which are really really good for uh, for that I mean, the God Cloak is one of the best Mage Cloaks, <laughs> and it's it's a level sixty item. Um, so let's say you want to go in with ranged into uh, into Saradoma. That's going to be a bit more difficult. I would not recommend ranged in Saradoma. Um, honestly, I would suggest you you're gonna want to have a war priest item of uh, of mage uh, of uh, a war priest item of Samurai. But then for Serodomen, I mean. I guess if if you had like a Saradomin cloak or something, um, but that's it's going to be quite hard because you can't just equip the Saradomin arrow and Saradomin doesn't have any armor. Plus, its weapons are mostly like melee, so you're going to struggle there. Um, an alternate, actually, I completely missed this with the melee. An alternative is you could equip a Zamorak arrow, and um, and a uh, Saradomin sword or a Saragod sword. Uh, I'm gonna actually put this list on the um, on the screen, uh, like recommended. If you're going to Armadil, uh, you're gonna be facing Armadil and the Zamorak. For Mage. You're gonna want subjugation um, for your your armor deal item. I'm afraid it's going to be expensive. I mean, the best item, uh, like the best item, if you're gonna mage in the uh, the armor deal area, is an armor deal battle staff, which is around 14 mil. But not everyone has that kind of money, so you could buy a piece of armadillo um, armor or better yet war priest armadillo war priest item um so yeah that's that's definitely strong um you will like you cannot melee in armadillo it's not it's not like with uh Ceridomen where range is going to be difficult <laughs> Armadillo, you you literally cannot melee at all. Your melee attacks cannot hit the enemies uh, because they're all flying. So you're not going to go in as melee, basically. Um, so that leaves ranged. Um, honestly, ranged war priest uh, Zamorak item. If you don't have one, those maybe a sub uh, sub gloves or or boots. Um, or if you have a Zamor cloak for armadillo items, well, self-explanatory armadillo armor um, and crossbows, preferably. <laughs> well, it's it's up to you. Crossbow, like your fan crossbow, is really expensive. That's around uh, forty mil as well. And then you've got bandos, which is. Um, Bandos is um, okay. So if you're taking, if you're going with melee, uh, Bandos has Zamorak and Bandos. 
And the sort of gimmick with Pandos is things tend to gang up on you if you attack the wrong thing. So be careful. Um, for Pandos, you are going to want... If you're going in with melee, which I would suggest you go in with melee on Bandos, you're going to want, uh, obviously, the Bandos armor, uh, which is the cheaper of the three. Um, if not, Bandos God Sword, um, your protection against Zamrak will be Zamrak Arrow. You're going in with Mage. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you're going in with Mage, that, that tends to be difficult. Um, so you're going to want Subjugation Armor. And then I would recommend, if you are going in with Mage, um, to just take one Bandos item. Um, like one Bandos gear, like Bandos boots or, or gloves. Um, so yeah. Uh, ranged, um, <laughs> ranged is that's going to be difficult. Um, probably War Priest Azami, and um, hmm, maybe a Bandos item, like one of the gear, one of the uh, Bandos gear items. I'll um, I put updated, I put updated stuff on the screen when I. Uh, uh, submit this Well, actually, I think that's I think I've covered everything uh, So yeah, if you I hope someone found this helpful um, I basically got this idea of uh, I was chatting in the GE with with uh, someone who is uh, I think he was like doing barrows and he was asking about gold boards and I was like, oh, what, what should I bring? Um, he didn't know about the god protection um, and he was a mage and I was like dude it like he, he, he wanted to do uh, Sarah Diamond um, yeah he was either Sarah Diamond or, or Zemrak um, and he had he had Barrow's uh, mage gear um, which is you know you can use that it's, it's better than the, uh, the god armor honestly it just degrades. Um, so he wanted to know, like, what kind of protection and well, like, what he needed. And I was like, "Dude, you need protection." I'd recommend going Zamorak and taking a Zamorak arrow, keep you equipped, because um, that's actually a pretty, pretty nifty uh, thing. That like, unless you're range, you don't need that slot, so you might as well use it as protection. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching, if you did like this video, like, comment, subscribe, um, leave, actually yeah, leave a comment, leave a comment, and, um, and tell me what you want to see next, um, because I'm always open to, uh, more ideas, so yeah, thank you for watching, I'll see you later.